Hello friends, welcome back to another product demo and Alpha League with me, AVB. Today I'm joining you from yet another beautiful phone booth at a co-working space, this time in San Jose, Costa Rica. Pura vida! Today I am going to keep it short because I want everyone to watch as much of this video as possible. We're going to cover how to get ST near or staked near on Aurora. But I can barely contain my excitement, so I have to start by telling you why you really want to have ST near on Aurora right now. Everything that we have been covering on a lot of the previous videos about building up the momentum towards DeFi on Nier is happening. Really quick recap. I've been saying for a long time that Nier has done remarkably well by making its way all the way into the top 30 cryptocurrencies without any leverage or lending. What is leverage or lending? This is a trend that is very popular with all ecosystems as they start to explode. You put down Ethereum or Bitcoin or Solana as collateral, you take out USD, and then you buy more of the cryptocurrency to keep adding to your position. If things go your way and price goes up, you basically got free money as the assets that you hold now are enough to pay for the loan initially and you have some crypto left over to enjoy a nice bottle of wine with your loved ones. Where, where things get dramatically better is not only when you have a cryptocurrency that is going up in price, but when you have a yield generating asset, so the cryptocurrency is actually generating you a revenue, even if the price remains flat, enter ST Near. ST Near is one of my favorite plays and it has been waiting for a party to go and show its dance moves. ST Near, simply put, is you deposit your Near with Metapool, it starts earning 10% staking rewards paid out in Near. This is coming directly from the Near protocol. And you have ST Near, which can be deployed anywhere on the DeFi ecosystem. But up until now, we've only had liquidity pools to deploy ST Near. I've always thought that liquidity pools are good, but the proper party are lending protocols. We've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and then suddenly, all at once. Just last week, we've had Origami launch. Origami has been able to amass over $300 million in TVL in less than one week. They have launched with a limited range of initial assets, but they have just announced that they're listing ST Near on Friday. Estonia on Origami is actually going to have a two-stage approach. So the first stage will be deposit only, but you can start earning rewards on Origami. So you'll be able to earn their native token, which is Ply, Meta Rewards, and likely another couple of cheeky rewards such as Nier. Bastion launched only a couple of days after Origami, and it has followed a very similar path. It has a limited range of assets for now. And they have already accumulated just under $300 million, which is truly impressive. What I gather from the Bastion and Origami examples is that there has truly been a bit of a race to see which platform implements ST in year first. Because today, Bastion went all in announcing that not only are they going to list ST in year as collateral, but you'll be able to borrow against it immediately. Now, that is amazing value for users. And to be honest, that's what I've been waiting for months. But things are starting to get absolutely wild. These loans would have been self-repaying loans just with the 10% stake in rewards from the protocol. But because it's launch season and we really want to reward early users, there are not just the one stake in rewards, but there are going to be six forms of rewards available for Bastion users. This is absolutely insane. So today, Bastion has announced that for ST Near users, they will be able to earn 10% staking rewards from the protocol, BSTN token, which is their native token, meta rewards from Metapool, the Bastion deposit APY, which is a money market, and Aurora and Near rewards. So basically, the loan is going to pay itself off pretty quickly, if you ask me. And there are more lending protocols like Origami and Bastion that are launching over the next two or three weeks. Earlier this week, there was also an announcement that ST Near is also expanding to WannaSwap, which is a decentralized exchange, and there will be incentivized farms there. So this provides yet another opportunity to deploy your ST Near and earn extra rewards. So with all these opportunities and all that is yet to come, the key question is, 
where do I get ST near on Aurora? That's what we're here for. There are three ways to get ST near on Aurora. The first one would be to swap within an Aurora native decentralized exchange. At the moment, Tree Solaris has an ST near wrapped near liquidity pool, which has over $5 million depth in it. And as we just said, there will also be an ST near wrapped near liquidity pool on WannaSwap very soon. What they do take into account is that if there's suddenly an influx of people swapping near into ST near on decentralized exchanges, the price may start changing slightly and you may actually see a premium on the decentralized exchange. So the easiest way to find out whether you're getting a good deal in a decentralized exchange is just go to the swap section. Let's pretend we're doing a bit of a swap and it will give you the rate. Note that I'm doing one near just to get the price, but once again, the price will change depending on how much you swap. The more you swap, the worse the price. Remember, the price on these pools is a direct correlation of how much of each asset is deposited in them. Once we have the price on the decentralized exchange, one is senior is worth 1.05 on Tree Solaris. We go to Metapool on near native and we compare what the actual price of ST near is right now. If we were to issue ST near or withdraw ST near from Metapool directly, the price of ST near on Metapool is 1.0625. So once you have those two prices, you can compare what would be best for you at the time. The second option will involve depositing it near on Metapool, on near native directly. Once you deposit your near with Metapool, they automatically distribute to 90 plus validators and they give you ST near. The second step would be to send ST near over the rainbow bridge. I already have some ST near on my wallet, so let's go directly to the rainbow bridge to show you how it's done. Rainbow bridge currently works between Ethereum, Aurora, and near, so we're going to choose the networks we want to transfer between, connect both wallets. Once both have been connected, begin new transfer. A senior is not coming up in the popular tokens. I suspect that's going to change soon. Show all tokens. We'll just do a quick search as to near, add it. It shows us the current balance. Let's send 30 as to near, continue. Once you confirm the transfer was charged, transfers between near and Aurora are instantaneous and extremely cheap, only a few cents. They're cheap enough that you actually don't have to worry about it. I, I love the Rainbow Bridge UI. And just like that, we can see how ST near has now been sent to Aurora. The final step would be to add ST near to MetaMask so you can actually see it. So on the three dots on the right, click on add ST near to MetaMask and it should do it automatically for you. And there's also some very handy options there as well, including copy the ST near address on Aurora. So you can go to Aurora scan, which is very similar to Ether scan. Now there's one thing that I want to note. If you are a near user going to into Aurora for the first time, you will need some ETH on your Aurora wallet. So the Aurora team is very generously set up by wallet so that if you need a tiny little bit of Ethereum to be able to use your Aurora wallet and receive funds from the bridge, they'll hook you up. So at the moment, there are 1.21 ETH on the faucet. They can give you a tiny little bit of ETH to get you going. I'll put the link on the comments below. That is aurora.dev.faucet. And now we have ST near on Aurora, ready to be deposited onto Origami, Bastion, WannaSwap, or anywhere else where you see some mad returns. The third option, it's actually the best one and the easiest one. However, it's not live yet. This is a mad alpha leak. It is currently on testnet and it is likely to be released over the next two weeks. So the third option is to stake on Metapool, just like we did in step two, but Metapool is working on enabling staking of Rapnir directly on Aurora. I'll just switch ne network to testnet to show you how it looks. As you can see, the Metapool team has been doing some amazing work to replicate the exact same experience that stakers have on your native, which is super simple. With one click, you deposit near and you receive SD near. Very soon, you will be able to do this directly from Aurora. This is some true wizarding shit. You'll be able to deposit Rapnir from Aurora with your MetaMask account. The country will automatically send the Rapnir down to Near Native on Rabbit, stake it on Metapool, and send SC Near back to Aurora to your wallet. So, with just one click and without knowing what's happening in the background, you will be able to get 
ST near automatically on Aurora. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the testnet link on the comment section below. And if you do check it out and you have any feedback, comments, or questions for the Metapool team, make sure to jump on their Discord and reach out to them directly. Awesome. I hope you find this video informative. Please let me know in the comments section below if anything was unclear, if you have any questions, and most importantly, let me know what you'd like me to cover next. I've got a huge list of things to cover. I already have origami and bastion in the pipeline, but let me know if there is anything you'd like to know. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.